Hi, this is Marcy of Earth Sky. The planet Venus is super bright in the eastern morning sky now. You can't miss it. And on the mornings of May 22nd through the 25th, the waning crescent moon will float near the bright planet Venus and the ring planet Saturn. Check them out. And on May 22nd, Venus and the moon will certainly catch your eye. And notice that the lit portion of the moon will point to the planet Saturn. Saturn is as bright as a first magnitude star, so it's easy to pick out in a semi-dark sky. Then on May 23rd, the moon will lie between brilliant Venus and Saturn. Catch them about 90 minutes before sunrise. On May 24th, the moon will line up with brilliant Venus with Saturn nearby. Look for them about 75 minutes before sunrise. Then on May 25th, the slender waning crescent moon is low on the horizon with brilliant Venus nearby. Look for them about an hour before sunrise. Can you still spot Saturn higher in the brightening sky? And after the moon has moved on, keep an eye on Venus. It will be at its greatest distance from the sun in the morning sky for 2025 on the morning of June 1st, and that's UTC time. Venus will be visible in the morning sky through November. Then it won't be visible as it races toward its superior conjunction when it passes behind the sun in early 2026. Then in March 2026, we'll see Venus again, now on the other side of the sun in the west after sunset. As for Saturn, it will remain in the morning sky through September. Then in September, it will be visible all night after it reaches opposition. That's when Earth flies between it and the sun, and Saturn will be at its brightest for 2025. 